Hi, it's Jocelyn. So we are just 20 seconds away from Avenico day two. Um, I'm gonna try to solve it as quickly as possible. I probably won't get on leaderboard, but we'll see how it goes. The goal is to uh, the goal is to eventually get on leaderboard some days. So please wish me luck. Um, and there we go. So we have, it looks like a bunch of commands with a direction and an amount on each line. Um, okay. And what we're supposed to do is calculate the horizontal position and depth that you would have after following the planned course. Um, sounds good. So um, we can split our line um, into two parts. Um, by splitting on the space. The first part is a direction. Um, and the second part is an amount, um, which is a number. So that's part that next dot unwrap dot parse dot unwrap. Um, and what we're gonna do the direction can be forward. Um, or um, down or up? Can it? Is there like a backward? No. Um, forward, down, up. Um, and yeah, so it looks like it's just 2D. So it, then we have uh, x, which will start at zero, and we'll have y, which will also start at zero. If we go forward, then I guess that sets x. Um, uh, or increments x by that amount. If we're going down, then y goes down by um, by the amount. And if we're going up, um, then y gets incremented by the amount. So we want to multiply x by y to get our final answer. Um, and, oh yeah, and we're gonna panic if we get something we don't expect. Um, these need to be mutable, and what else is Russ going to complain about? Hopefully that's it. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm assuming we want a positive value, so I'm just going to go with this and see what happens. That's the right answer. All right. Um, so continue to part two. So based on calculations, plan course doesn't seem to make any sense. Uh, down increases your aim by x units. Up uh, decreases your aim by x units. Um, forward x is two things. It increases your horizontal position by x units. And it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Um, so I don't know if that actually makes sense but we're going to try to implement what it says. Um, okay, so we have our aim, which starts at zero. Down increases aim by the amount. Uh, oh, sorry, we have, yeah, down increases aim by the amount. Up uh, decreases aim by the amount, and forward does two things. It increments your position by uh, the amount times, oh yeah, no, it, it ju just increments the amount and then it increments your depth by the aim multiplied by the amount. Um, what do you get if you multiply your final horizontal position by your final depth? Okay, so I think over here, that is just what we need. Um, so let's see if we get a reasonable answer here. Um, so I do have a number in my console. I guess I'm not showing it, but I just copied this in my console. And 483. All right, so we did not get the leaderboard here, but this, was, this wasn't too bad. Um, the other thing I wanted to just talk about was there are in back from yesterday's uh, solution, there are two things that I would have improved um, 
or that I could have improved um, that I want to talk about. So the first one is Rust actually has this nifty Windows functions on slices. So a reference to our vector C here is an example of a slice. And if you call Windows with a size of two, uh, what it does is it um, will give you an iterator where the first thing it returns is the first and second item of your slice. And then the second thing it returns is the second and third item and so on. Um, and this just lets us simplify our code a little bit. So we can say for window in c.windows2, uh, and then we can say if the second item in the window is bigger than the first item in the window, then increases goes up by one. Um, and uh, when this runs, you can see that it will return the same thing. And the second thing you can improve uh, or, and rather we can do the same thing over here. So in c.windows4, you see that we're actually looking at four things here, all the way from ci minus three to ci. Um, and then we could do the same thing here, but the second thing I wanna point out is that when we're comparing a and b here, um, ci minus one and ci minus two, since they're both in a and b, they kind of get canceled out. You're really just comparing ci to ci minus three. So if you wanna be a little bit cute, you can say if the uh, last item in the window is bigger than the first item in the window, then your increases goes up by one. And when this runs, we'll see that um, our test also passes. Uh, so yeah, the nice thing about windows here is I would not have been able to make that off by one error that I made in my first attempt. Um, anyway, that is all for me. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.